Oh, you can't. Alright, go live. Hello. I did see you there. I had this planned out. I'm literally stealing Gokunara's bit from last night. Um, okay. I don't know how much Tom Tent there is. I was told on my, like, kick stream that there was, like, some amount. And I was like, oh, Mantis goes on. Um, on my, like, kick stream that and there was, like, some people amount. for, like, an hour. Huh? And I was like, oh, Mantis so goes on. I'm just uh, saying, like, kick stream. Why that, not? And like, just, oh, God, like, I can hear myself, like, oh. six times. No, please. Never. <clears throat> so, apparently... That was on me. Haas, good afternoon, love you. Sulfur, good afternoon, love you. Void Horn, good afternoon, love you. Cho, good afternoon, love you. Podium, good afternoon, love you. Contents, never good afternoon, love you. Babe, good afternoon, love you. Abby, good afternoon, love you. Fairy, good afternoon, love you. Dodgers, good afternoon, love you. Cho, good afternoon, love you. Love you. Yes, it is bait. <laughs> it's a little bit of bait, I think. Okay, so I'm just, like, today's supposed to be a day off, so I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to play, like, SimCity or some shit over on Kick. That's what we were doing. It was a good, fun night. And someone goes ahead, I, I think it was like Primordial or something, goes ahead and starts saying in the, the chat, hey, what's up, baby? This is Loki. <laughs> this is Loker the cat. Baby, why are you like this? Um, so I was playing uh, SimCity, and people are like, yo, by the way, Tom just had Mantis on, and he quadrupled down on the fucking uh, Sassafras shit. Um, and I looked at some of it, and I was like, oh, all right, well, whatever, we can do this for, like, two, three hours, this will be fine. You know? Um, and also, lets me, I know, <laughs> I know, Loker. Also lets me tell you guys, hey, we have a schedule this week. We're gonna be doing the potpourri shit tomorrow with George and, you know, a bunch of budge stuff, right, Loker? Oh, yeah, we're also gonna be going over, um, we're gonna be going over all the Keffels things, right? What's up, Loker? What's up, baby? Yeah? Yeah. So, we're going to go over the Kevl stuff and all that tomorrow. Um, that's going to be starting at like 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just so everybody's aware. Remember to like and subscribe. That way you get the notifications that's happening. Uh, but tonight, we are just going to go over this um, this one specific section of Tom's stream where it seems like Mantis has gone ahead and... <laughs> Reinserted herself into this. Bro, I feel like I baited the fuck out of this. All right? Like, I'm right about to start streaming. And motherfucking, uh, what's his name? Goddamn, uh, <laughs> J Stock is like, Rezzy can come on. That's fine. You know, don't worry about it. If he wants to talk, talk about it. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening. All right? If I'm going to be honest, I have no idea what's happening. I just figured, fuck it. I'm just going to make an absurd fucking thumbnail, and um, apparently it worked. So, yeah, I don't know what we're going to get. Is this Mantis versus Ben Thorpe? No, I do not believe this is Mantis versus Ben Thorpe. Uh, this is Tom going ahead and talking to some random chatter. Mantis joins, and we're going to go from there. Where is... Here it is. Okay, here we go. Got it all ready, and we got it all together. Got, got, got it all to go. It was a funny thumbnail. Bro, like, straight up, like, this is, like, one of the simplest fucking thumbnails I've ever fucking made. Like, unironic, like, completely unironically. It was, like, it took me five minutes. I took a screen from the beginning of a stream, and then I just, I've had this Mantis picture that I use for her all the fucking time, right? And that's it. It's like perfect. Rezzy, you have two chats on stream. I'm kind of aware of that. Don't worry about it. Okay? It'll be okay. Alright? We still haven't figured... I still haven't gotten the YouTube chat thing figured out. So, this way you guys have uh, live chat and not just top chat. Uh, otherwise, yeah, like it's all screwed up. Anyways, so let's get started with this. Um, it is my day off and uh, let's enjoy it. Why not? Because it's kind of funny. Honestly, it's just funny to me, dude. At this point, it's just funny. Crap. Dude, my audio is so fucked right now. Hold on, let me... Wait. Say something? Yeah, I can't hear you. Um... I did not choose, the, like, the best timestamp, apparently. Let's scroll Crap. forward a little I bit. Just, but... Okay. Output. It's not... Nope. Yeah, still. Not good. 
Alright. Hold on. Kid. Just check my Good afternoon, Lucky. Why not, do you sound like shit? Oh, I know why. Hold on. I will now sound better. Kid, good afternoon, love you. I like that Tom oh, is now reverting to the so other headphones me. now. Good for him, though, really. Okay, now try. Hello? One, two, three. Tom is gay. Can you hear me now? Okay, one more time. Okay, there we go. Tom is gay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I gotta turn that down. His yeah. AirPods died a bit ago? Okay. No. All right, we're Jesus. Good. Christ, dude, this is the worst. Um, I just want to talk. Uh, I just want to check. Uh, do you want to talk about your conversation with Kyla? With Kyla? Oh yeah, sure. What's that? The yeah, you're about, talking about? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, about you uh, being like changing the topic and whatever. Like, like specifically, um, she wanted to see uh how. Like, you know how she said you have a uh, uh, complicated relationship with the truth at the end? When <laughs> yes. she was testing you that if you were going to talk about the comments, YouTube comments in um in the J JSTK... How do you say it? JST JSTLK. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> JSTLK, man. If you ever watch this back, please come up with the new street, new name. For the love of God, make it possible. Just make it J Stock. Just send A in there with the stock. It'll be perfect. Okay. Acriel, good evening. Love you. Lissy, good evening. Love you. Welcome. In. What, yeah, well, so I went back and watched, and when they asked me about it, I said, I don't remember what I said. If somebody wants to send them to me, they can. And then by the time they sent them to me, Dave and JCLK were already on the stream. So, like, but I, I, I even talked to her more recently and said, I was like, you, you said that I was like downplaying this. I went back and watched it, and I stand by everything I said in the way that I said it. I'm really confused at how to, how you came to that conclusion. She's like, oh, I don't even remember at this point. She's like, I, it, if I mess it up, my bad. She's like, but I'll have to go back and watch and try to like figure out for myself why I thought that at the time. So. I, I, I think, but yeah, I watched it. I don't understand how it came off as downplaying. I think, uh, from what, how does he not get that the whole point of it being downplaying is because you went ahead and said, Oh, we will definitely be friends in the future. I'm talking to them. They're cool with this and adding like a bunch of extra shit to their statements this is just the worst oh it's obscuring tom's face all right here we go wait i can do this um here we go let's do this this is probably the best way to do it all right this is fine. I mean, realistically, we only need, like, this upper corner here because, like, there's nothing else going on on stream, okay? From her point of view, uh, uh, she thought that they were so, like, whack that, uh, it was kind of obvious that you, you would have thought that, okay, they're kind of bad, like, uh, calling her, uh, a thought, internet thought, and, uh, suck my dick, and, like, whatever, like, uh, she's into you and whatever and there were like obviously there were jokes wait but i've but already were... yes i've already said that though like obviously like <laughs> you know this guy is probably the worst person to have this conversation with tom but why not this is fun <laughs> i don't care tom Ten always puts a smile on my face dude it is what it is there are a ton of people that i can like fucking fuck with in that way right like that they're not gonna think twice about it and Kilo, good they're just gonna, like banter with you in that way so yeah so like it's obviously meant to be like hyperbolic and jokey at the same time but I i've said is it wrong it's like the people that are left there in tom's community have no idea how even how even to formulate their disagreements with them whatever <laughs> after oh. that like yeah obviously if that's not if she wants to get upset about it then <laughs> like i probably shouldn't have uh have said it that way like but i i said that on that stream i said that on the stream 
after that day. I said it on the stream after that one. Like I've said it every stream after where people keep saying, oh, so you're still doubling down on these. I'm like, no, I, I've said over and over. Like I probably shouldn't have said that. It's just that I don't think it's sexual harassment. So I will argue that point. But I, yeah, like it probably, uh, I probably shouldn't have said it. Like I, I've said this like a million times. Yeah. like, And I had even said that me... to her as well on that stream. Yeah, the Exactly. The point of how many teeth did we have to pull to make that happen, though? Right. Me saying this to you is is. Nair, good afternoon. Love you. It was not semi grape. Okay. That I'm like so. Uh, I agree with her. Uh, I'm. I don't I know think if this is progress. She, I don't think like it's progress. Beat, like when. Okay. Obviously, she was trying to catch you like she was she was doing a gotcha right when she was well, asking i was a little confused questions. when she said afterwards she's like oh i didn't tell you that i knew about this but i obviously i did i in the first panel on wix channel they had asked me they we were talking about like content creators curating their uh communities in a way to that would be like more acceptable for women and then they said, like, well, why don't you speak about your own situation that came up more recently? And so I said, like, yeah, like, there's some stuff that was said in comments and, like, said in chat that we should probably be a little bit more wary of and moderate better and, and call out a little bit more. And she said, no, your, what about your comments in JSTLK's chat, Tom? Like, don't, don't talk about your chat. What about his chat? What you yeah, said? Yeah, that's when I so knew that she was she like, already, trying yeah, to so go Yeah, so I already knew that she already knew what I said. So her, when, when she was like, oh, I acted like I didn't know. I'm like, wait, I, I knew you didn't know the whole time. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> you Not what? What the f- what? Was that- I'm- I don't understand. No, I don't think Sass is back. Uh, now, the thing is, Tom, like, I feel like- I think Erudite is kind of back. No, no, Sulphur, we've been at- Tom doesn't think he should have said that stuff for months, like, at least a month now, right? Okay, this is no- there's no progress here. Okay, he's already basically gone ahead and said all the staff stuff I said was absolutely right. Because, we accelerate like, towards the SAS, of, SAS of get, like, get in, right? Everyone, it will happen. When they have, like, an agenda, like, you were talking to her, uh, like, the I don't goal think of she's bad faith. I think that that's, like, a normal thing to do is to, like, kind of, like, I think it's a bad hide faith. part I, of what you're... I, I have a higher standard for Erudite, I would say, because, like, uh, because um, if I... So Sass. yesterday or two days ago, uh Sass, good evening, love you. Sick, good evening, love you. All of good evening, love you. Sass, what's going on, dude? <laughs> Freddie, good evening, love you. What's going on, dude? What's going on, dude? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's the fucking. It's the literal Avengers assemble moment. Okay, all we need is Zonia and like. I don't even know. Uh, seven? Destiny, talk with the... All right, somebody messaged Zonia and Seven. Taylor, good evening, love you. Uh, talk with the journalist person, um, uh, a pro-Palestinian journal journalist, and the journalist asked, like, uh, what do you think uh, the goal of Zionism is? And Destiny said that to have a Israel... Uh, to have like a Jewish state and whatever, what? and uh, to be a safe ha haven. Good afternoon, good afternoon, love you. Jews, and I said, okay, so you think it's an ethno state? And Destiny brought up, no, it's uh, no, uh, they. I want to be clear. I have watched none of this, so I have no idea if this is or isn't good. Okay, but he did make comments about Sassfras that he stands by everything that he said with it. That's how he opened his, is like little, this little section of everything. Jack, good evening, love you. Smokey, good evening, love you. S Content server, good evening, love you. So I, I, um, I don't know where this is going. I mean, I guess we're already on Israel. Um, so we've already moved past that. Um, do you, what's the over under of Tom just saying, we need to bomb the shit out of Gaza and make sure that no one remains? They also include uh, other ethnicities. So, uh, and he said that, um, so it's, uh, they also have apartheid uh, condition. Uh, so they're also like a apartheid. 
And Dustin said, no, they, they're not apartheid. Um, they, uh, they treat their citizens equally, almost. And, but uh, the general... The Turn Gaza into Zaza. ...said, no, they, uh, what happens uh, w- with their immigration, like, uh, are other uh, people, like non-Jews, are they allowed to come in? And Dustin said, it doesn't matter. Uh, they... They treat their citizens uh, equally, and that's just the immigration problem. So, uh, based on the debate, uh, apartheid is basically treating your citizens unequally, while immigration is like non-citizenship, right? So, it has nothing nothing to do with apartheid. But the goal of the journalist was to show that there's like a ethnocentric... um, uh, discrimination going on, right? Yeah, and but you understand much- that people are using these words. Why are you so obsessed with Tom? Views, M60. Views, okay? That's why. Um, all right, let's skip ahead a little bit of this, right? You said this is Tom. Tech. You just you said this is an Israel Palestine debate. Mantis comes on. I was told it was Tom Tent. That are okay. Palestinian aren't um, literally within. I and it started off like about Saz, you know, so think like oh, Destiny like could have given that to them because obviously Mantis does come on. Like citizens are, I you think know. Uh, what the point is like you want they want to talk about the underlying problem, right? Yes. Yeah. Who's doing your recon? It was primordial, right? okay. And Let's why? Back real quick. The I, Sorry, Kyla, it, I think it's right for people. Oh wait, well, here we go. That, okay, so uh, I think well, you're in the me, right, and Destiny is in the right too. And let me I, let me take this back why... real quick. The I, Sorry, Kyla, it, I think it's right for people who are around me to hear a lot of the things that are being said and have questions and being like, <laughs> give me a bit of a side eye and being like, wait, what the fuck? Which is why I said over and over on stream, like anybody who was actually like close to SAS or close to me and people who had questions were uh, all of them who came to me were very quickly like, oh shit, okay, that actually that makes sense. Thank you for showing. Huh? Yeah, with the SAS thing? Um, okay. You have to go to him, though, right? Like, what, what does this even mean? What does this even mean? This is definitely, like, completely untrue. Holy shit, dude. And, like, they're, they were fine with everything immediately. Um, the, but people... I, but I'm, I understand that people. What about SAS? <laughs> like, was SAS fine immediately? Like, am I, am I, am I, am I, I, I okay, wait. SAS, real quick, are you fine with everything immediately? Like, you had to talk with Tom? He said he talked to you, too. I guess that's, like, a question we can ask. Because he did say that he talked to SAS, and now everyone he talked to is fine with, is fine with him. So, you know, it's, uh. Oh, <laughs> I hate Tom Tent. I love Tom Tent. We're going to have questions that people are going to like look at things and be like, oh, <coughs> like a lot of people have framed this as though you lied about so many different things that now it just kind of looks like you're a liar. So her coming into this wanting to like suss out whether or not I was lying about things or whether or not. Oh, uh, Castro, good afternoon. Love you. This is plainly not true. Yeah, so much of this is just untrue. And I was like being dishonest. I don't have a problem with that. Her like trying to hide her cards for a bit to see if I was going to. T- <laughs> we have not talked since we ended our relationship, says Sass. Sassy. Sassy baby. Sassy baby. Oh no. Oh no! Tom is likely caught. Are, are you like is likely caught in another lie because of this little problem of me just making really really good fucking uh, thumbnails? Oh fuck! All right, I'm just gonna put this. I'm just gonna put this in my DMs so that way I have the videos thing. Um. All right, give me one sec. I gotta save this image. Sorry, I just I want to put this. On the screen. By the way, I find it really fucking weird that he still has your goddamn fucking face in his goddamn in his uh, scroll bar, right? All right, all right. Let's do this. Just so we're clear. Just so we're clear. There we go. All right, perfect, excellent. 
tell the truth about something. Yeah. I don't think that's like you know what? Uh, bad faith or dishonest. That's what I would expect from somebody in a scenario like that. It's time to lock in. Um, I think, okay, uh, I, I feel like you're being a bit... I, I, that could be true. I, I, never mind. Like, I, I, I'll concede that. I would say, um, yeah, sure. If you're... if. It, like everybody like looks at like uh, Mantis is like this hardcore simp, but even she's had a lot of questions about a lot of the same things. Uh, like, under he's locked in. What do you fucking expect? Understandably, like, there's, there's, uh, it, yeah, it just makes sense Grandpa that people Stone are going to wonder, wonder about some of this shit and want more information. And it's like based on the way that other people have framed things, I just have to accept the reality that, <laughs> that like, they've, uh, they've framed things in like the most bad faith way possible. That now I just kind of have to answer to a lot of this shit. Yeah, and like all the other shit that you did to try to cover it up, dude. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, I'll concede to that. Uh, another <laughs> point is that um, I feel like you could have done better explaining like the joke, uh, like uh, yeah, sure. with seven, like taking the list. Like the joke isn't that uh, whatever <laughs> they're thinking of. The joke is that you just want to take out. Um, no, the joke is that Tom has a list of women that he wants to fuck that include everybody that a certain streamer that it seems like Tom possibly idolizes has possibly fucked uh, or would fuck someone's name off a list. Right. Rather right. Than, but that's what uh, I said. And they didn't understand purpose, it. Right? And then they kept asking for the meaning. So, like. I think there's actually a couple of clips of me that I'm going to try to find and put in the video where, like, I actually explain it. But oh, there was a video from Darius. Oh, so he's going to make a video explaining it now, too. Great. Oh, this is fantastic. Based. Based. Where he goes and he has, like, a list of e-girls on the list. And he pulls up a girl's stream and she's sitting there with a guy. And she says, hey, everybody, meet my new boyfriend. And he pulls up the list and erases her name off of it and then unsubscribes. Bro, if you are taking... Stop. If you're taking cues on internet etiquette and how to socialize from Darius, I'm going to be honest. I have a bridge in Alaska I need to sell you is probably the joke you would make here or something along that line. Who the fuck goes ahead and looks at Darius and is like, you know what? That's what I'm going to fucking do, man. That's it. That's the fucking key to everything I've ever wanted to do is I want to go to Chicken Nuggies and Depression Darius. Whitestone, good afternoon, love you. <clears throat> From the channel. And that's the entire clip. Is he's just like he erases her name off the list. So on that night, I put a list of some girls that I was friendly with, some girls that like I definitely was not friendly with, some girls that just are just random fucking like um E celebs, or sorry, not E celebs, like a, like regular celebrities, like Amaranth and Pamela Anderson, people that I couldn't possibly know. Um and then I think the last thing. Ice Beans, good afternoon, love you. Tom continues to lie. He said he had a conversation with Sassafras after everything blew up and that Sassafras, Sassafras backed down from parts of that conversation. So far, we have Sassafras in chat saying we have not talked since we ended our relationship. Someone here is lying. We know that. He's also saying he's going to make a video and um, kind of just quadrupling down on everything. Ice Beans, good afternoon, love you. It's an emergency Tom 10, baby. It's like everybody that Destiny's uh, ever had sex with or something something like that. Um, and the point of it was that it was inconsistencies. That, like, there's no through line here that you could look at and be like, oh, this is what the list is. And so even the next day... Um, so yeah, so I just erased Seven's name off of it, and I'm like, I guess I fucked that up, and just ended stream. The very next day, it's Wick and Rezzy going over it, and they're like, what is this? What is the list? And they're like, I don't know. Is it his friends? It can't be his friends, because like, uh, the, the, these people are on it. Well, is it, is it girls that he like wants to have sex with? Well, no, the, it can't be, because it's got Pamela Anderson and... No! No, no, we vi no, no, Merritt, good evening, love you. No, this is wrong. It was like, I literally just said to Wick, I don't want to guess what the fuck it was that this list is about because it's too degenerate for me, okay? Because Pamela Anderson's on there. You can want to fuck Pamela Anderson even if she's way out of your league, Tom.
Bro. An amaranth on it, so that no shot that. Yeah, I thought it, it was the ones he was gang stalking. That he was like, you know, knew all their like addresses and everything like that. And then Seven is like, oh, I don't want to talk to him anymore. He's like, shit, you know what? This one hasn't told me to stop freaking him out. That's what it is. And like, that's the point of the list is that it's not meant to actually I, I mean anything, it's meant to be so inconsistent. But, bro, it doesn't. No, it's not. Okay, stop. You can't tell me you wouldn't fuck Pamela Anderson, bro. You can't do this. Tom, this is not possible that you wouldn't fuck Pamela Anderson. This makes sense, okay? That it's like your fuck list. All right, why is Pamela Anderson the one that disavows the fuck list? God, what you put that you're, destinies. you're confused. You put like Destiny's everyone that was in Destiny's stream or had a uh, relationship with Destiny. Like, I think if you didn't put that in, people wouldn't assume so many things. Yeah, well, the, the, like... the part of the joke is that, like, no, we still would have assumed that it was a list of chicks that Tom wanted to fuck when one of the, the reason why he crossed out the name was because this person said she didn't want to interact with Tom any longer. Bruv, like this is oh, oh no. If We're going back to the list in it, but it doesn't but that's not like it's pretty obvious that that's also not what it is. And so every implication, every time you look at it, you're like, "Oh, maybe this is what it is." Well, no, it can't be that. Like that's kind of the joke of it is that it doesn't act, it's not actually a list of anything and that you, there's no like consistent thing that you could ever look at and say, "Oh, this is obviously what it's a list of. This is obviously what these names mean." That was the joke. Is that Yeah, the joke is you want to fuck everyone on the list even though you thought that seven was in <laughs> you can't figure out what it means. So then every time somebody asked what it meant, we all just answered, uh, you know what it is, because we knew they didn't know what it was, because we didn't know what it was. So, like, that was just, that just was the joke, is that it didn't. All right, everyone always assumed that, Resvere. And friends, the list is clear, and he was asked what the list was by one of the women. He said, creepily, you know what it is. <laughs> He's, it's, I love him trying to play dumb. Um, it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, it's just people that I would like to go ahead and buy Thai food for. Come on, guys. Yeah, Primordial, good evening. But it was going to make people wonder. It was going to have implications, but it wasn't going to be, like, it just wasn't going to be clear at all. Um, but you know what's funny? Out of like every see the issue, Olive, with well, I thought the joke was that it was hijacking the spicy chat meme, but then that means the meme the list was a rape list because that was the meme. I don't think he thought that far into it. I think he thought saw a list and was like, Oh, that looks like something people are engaging with. Why not? One else who reviewed this only, um, what's her name? Brittany Simon got the joke rather than mm. like anyone else. And it it kind of makes sense because like she looks at everyone through like individuals and i think she face britney simon looking at everybody like individuals because sneeko definitely has his shit together and he has room to grow and he is growing he watches your stream every three months later <laughs> nick fuentes emerges from a wall of flames to sneeko at a podium saying and now i present to you the next president of the united states nick fuentes Rosita Crombero, Rosita, it's just like some fucking like weird like uh, Russian-esque fucking czarist goddamn fucking tune and everything. Yes, great judge of character. Every time, like every day, like that's kind of interesting. Yeah, you like, might have like, to like, like get my only... sense of humor and like know <laughs> like who I am in order to. <laughs> Tom's sense of humor is calling a woman a whore and laughing. <laughs> like, kind of get the joke. I hate and my life. That's like, yeah. I hate, I've heard I, a bunch of people say I that love, that's like I love Tom Tip, but I the, hate it. It's just like the character that they know, but I, I don't know what. I don't, I don't know why people have hard, a yeah, hard time. Yeah, gets no Thai food it, Like, it all seems pretty obvious, and that's why it's funny. I but, think I could you know. see why people could have hard time, like normies or anything like that.
anyone else. Like, <laughs> normies, think... yeah, sure, but <laughs> like, these are a bunch of people from normies, this space. Like, I, I think people. Yes, because people from this space ha never do anything fucking like we are all just as fucking degenerate as like the fucking horse slowly guy or the divorce guy or the fucking you know thinks Hamas is doing like a pretty good job guy. We're all that deranged, Tom. Thank you for reminding us that none of us could ever possibly have anything normal about about us especially when it comes to consent and healthy relationships my like our kind of like <sighs> drama brain like oh what's the implication what's like uh what's like the underlying Yes, yeah, no, stop. This guy is actually right. It is about drama brain because there is something about the drama of a guy on Valentine's Day saying, um, she's not really my girlfriend, though, guys. There's something about that that is absolutely amazing. Fairy Queen, good afternoon, love you. Uh, it's all happening. It's all happening right before us, dude. Four more years of Tom Tom. I swear it will never end. I don't think it'll ever stop. Uh, reason for this joke. We like, are. Uh, they kind of. My guess is we'll bully him off the internet first, right? They're looking for that thing. And mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's what it is. And speaking of, speaking of Britney Simon, I feel like she still believes in the uh, level system for. Uh, what's the thing? Um, introspection. Introspection, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't like that. I don't think there's like a level to introspection because like I feel like some people who are very in introspective in one thing, they're like so bad at being introspective in like another field of something or like another topic. Like there's like a introspection is like a thing that you have or don't like it's like a. Mm -hmm. It's I swear to God, if <laughs> this week just becomes Tom does stream after stream about the same drama, and that's like gonna be what I have to do every day, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be living a great life. All right, I will emergency Tom Tent any day for the smallest scrap. I'm sorry. Just watch it. Like, the thing is, I just, these co this conversation is hilarious because this dude is doing the best. To, like, just be like, you know, Tom, I agree with everything you say, you know? Like, I'm just, like, wondering about this one thing. Yeah, Tom, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna, like, lie to you about a bunch of shit real quick, all right? We're just gonna lie to you real, real quick, okay? <laughs> you know? Just gonna make up a lie. <laughs> like, uh... Endless. Tom Endless. is introspective in terms of dating, but he's not that... In We're terms not doing of, tomorrow's like, teachings uh, right now. Um finance like he doesn't have like a good finance or whatever so he mm -hmm. cannot give like a good financial advice but he's very introspective uh, in, <laughs> in terms of dating so he could give like, <clears throat> good dating advice cousin id good evening love you this will he get his 35th i promise it's not i'm not creepy video so the first video there wasn't one uh we're gonna do the long line of debates um the second video would be the february 14th stream the third video is going to be sassafras and her lies why i don't trust them white hoes no more <laughs> the fourth video is going to be out of the out of the out of the jail and into the fryer why are we still talking about this <laughs> the fifth video <laughs> Mantis is gone. What do I have left? <laughs> Sixth video. Wait, why is she outside now? <laughs> like, I'm trying to think what, like, what is the progression for, to the 35th video? <laughs> All right. Like, at some point, there's, like, the, the, the accidental, uh, yeah, so I'm in Somalia, um, and, uh, it's going great. It's going great, all right? And it's like, he's just, like, got, like, you know, he's just in a fucking room with a camera pointed at him with, like, a script in front of him and everything like that. We're not saying heroin relapse. We don't want him to relapse, okay? Tom, please don't do drugs. Don't die. Please continue being funny. Please continue being really, really funny, okay? But not because you're trying to be funny, Okay? Please don't do that. White women are ruining my life. All right, we got to come up with the list real quick. All right, give me a right, moment. That's what, I mean, I've said my. 
that's a, that's exactly what what my criticism of the level system has been this entire time is that I don't think you can give an overall sort of introspection. Like there's some things exactly. I've talked about this that like there are tons of things that for myself I am very introspective on, but there's tons of other things that I'm just not whether it's like that I'm just blind to it being a problem or whether I just don't even give a fuck or whether I'm um or it's like something that I'm like um like actually proud of or something like there's there's yeah there's just tons of areas where i definitely am very introspective and then tons where i'm not and i don't like the idea of like an overall rating of introspection yeah i feel like um one thing i judge introspection is that um like if you have like creative way of explaining things or a creative way of like uh rationalizing rationalize something uh, mm -hmm. that's kind of like a sign of introspection right uh, that means you kind of understand something very deeply that you could uh view this through multiple lens and kind of answer it creatively and i feel like britney is very introspective in terms of i don't know like maybe she's like in terms of mental health but sometimes she says something that is that that is so normal that it doesn't sound int introspective like oh we're humans we're not gonna do anything uh yeah your the level of matter. like individualism that she gets to seems yeah i i the I, i'll say though um because like when i when i got off of drugs got out of prison and I've talked about this a ton that like I went years, maybe like five, six, seven years, just kind of like shutting myself off to everybody and just working on myself, working on personality traits, trying to like. I just, I need you guys to just understand something real quick. I know that I'm just kind of letting this play. I am working on a really good joke that I think you guys are going to really, really enjoy. Okay. I think you're going to really enjoy fix problems with myself, whether it was lying, whether it was the way that I presented myself, the way that I talk, um, like just really like zoning in on specific aspects of myself at a time, specific characteristics and trying to work on those and trying to fix that. And I didn't stop once I like felt like once I started dating again, once I started like going out again and started like uh, socializing a lot more, I didn't stop working on those things. I feel like it's kind of been an obsession ever since is to just keep finding things that I could improve on and work on. And, uh, and I always have some like thing that I'm like looking at. And when people are critical of me, I take it very seriously, even if I don't think very much of those people, I'll still always consider it. Like I always stop and think like, okay, is there like, even if I'm, even if I think that person's fucking retarded, is there some way that I'm like presenting this, that I could present it better, that they would understand it as well. And that like, would make this make sense. Micromonics, good afternoon, love you. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I'm working on. Um, I got the first 13 episodes of the uh, SAS thing. Okay, I got the first 13 episodes. All right. So episode one, SAS the liar. Episode two, how JSTOC raped me. Three, episode three, why JSTOC raped me. Episode four, Queem Queeman, Femboy or Bong Champ. Five, Brit Simon is gone. Six, I think Eridai has better armpits than Sass. Seven, how I killed Destiny, debate. Eight, what is a creep really? Nine, what's the deal with airline food? Ten, Sass came back, gone sexual. Eleven, Rezzy is fat, is, has always been fat, and always will be. Twelve, I didn't, not, didn't realize he needed likes and subscribes to not end it all. Thirteen, now the black hoe's after me, Aryan Arc. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. Like, that's the one. I just saw the word Aryan in chat, and I was like, this is perfect. Okay. All right. Like. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> this is my list. All right. I'll tell you exactly what they are. They are episodes of future Tom Tent that he's going to be doing, apparently. All right. 
this is I'm imagining so the future. Future, future, okay. Like each time I'm seeing people that I think are fucking retarded or <laughs> insanely uh, dishonest, I still stop every time. And I'm like, okay. So can someone confirm that man is basically still sticking with Tom through this? Hey, Ice Beans, why don't you give it ten minutes, okay, honey? So there's something that I'm doing here that's kind of like fucking this up and making this seem like something that it's obviously not. Um, and then, yeah, it, th that kind of, like, drove me crazy for about a month. Like, felt gaslit. Felt like I was losing my fucking mind for a while. And, at a, yeah, at a certain point, I had to actually, like, look at all these people and be like, you know what? They're, they're actually just fucking retarded. Like, <laughs> they actually are. They actually are just dishonest. They actually are lying. And there's just nothing more to it than that. I can't fix this. I can't make it better. I can't try to, like, present these things in a better way. They're just liars. They're just lying, and that it's as simple as that. So, like, uh, Tom, did you not start this off with? Um, yeah, I talked to Sass, and she's gonna relook at everything, which is <clears throat> a lie. Oh. Yeah, that, like the the introspection thing is like I think uh, it it's like an obsession for uh somebody like me where you've had to like change so many aspects of your life over a uh, long period of time and it's there's not like times where i feel like oh i can just ignore these people like i don't ever i don't ever get that uh feeling ever i don't can think. I ask you something like did reading about evolution did it help you become more Wait, introspective what? like around like like, they're just, he's introspecting and realized everyone else is the problem. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, 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 it is what it is, all right? Like, yeah, we, th we've been here. We've been here the whole time. His introspection is like the, the Brit Simon introspection, where it's like, yeah, if you disagree with me, you're wrong, and you need to get used to that. I think there's something wrong with that, but at the same moment, if... If, if, this is how he thinks, he's kind of living on cloud nine. He's actually living better than probably any of us, you know? Like, realistically, if he's doing that, he's living on cloud nine, man. That's it. Are you saying he has BPD? I'm saying Cla Tom has lost touch with reality, and I wonder if he thinks that Mantis is actually a... Six, uh, four foot tall praying mantis with a chirpy accent and possibly even a uh, little cowboy hat, if you will. The meaning of life or how, like, um, in general, like how you view everything? Um, well, it, it, it made it to where I left religion, so... Yeah, obviously, to some extent. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, um, like, because, like, for me, it kind of did that, did the same thing. It's just that uh, so many things kind of, like, uh, uh, kind of came together and kind of, mm -hmm. like, uh, and I'm not sure. You remember you, like, uh, I talked about the fact that, like, they don't even teach evolution in schools here, and that, like, blew your mind. You're like, wait, what? That's so strange, you don't, man. I you, still don't believe it. You, yes, you kept so... saying you didn't believe me. I had to show you I actual... Still took... Keith, good afternoon, love you. Is this Smaggle? No, it's not Smaggle. Somebody said it was Egghead. The name is R. Ian. Um, I don't know what that stands for. I'm assuming it's some variation of um, retard, if you will. An actual person on the AI? I don't know. Evidence that we don't. To some sense, I, I feel like Erudite was right. Like, I, I don't know if you're making this shit. Oh my <laughs> goodness. I, this is so you're backwards, man. Like, what kind of bum ass country do you live in? Like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> no, this is so strange. Uh, like, you went to a public school, right? Yeah. So there's no way that that they didn't teach you, or can you like opt out of those classes? No, they again. These are like things that. Uh, Wait, what? That like. Sorry. I we went over. I'm I'm making my predictive Tom episodic list thing, okay? And I cannot figure it out. 
over it on stream with you, bro. We went over it where there's like specific legislation showing like that you don't have to do it. And then we went over which states require evolution teachings, which ones oh, don't. Oh, okay. Uh, we showed a bunch of different protests. So they're talking about like how ones. Tom figured out what evolution was when he was like 32 and was like, oh, that makes God not real, right? state had changed the law to where they did have to his name is uh, orion and he's been on stream a and, lot like protests <laughs> broke out everywhere from oh no little arian people. came like, on stream again i would expect that to happen around like in the at least at most in the late uh 19 90s right well we went so, over a freaking expect... graph showing which states have to show have to teach evolution and which ones don't so like there's not much more to it than that it's it's that's it yeah, this is so, like, yeah, this is so strange. Like, yeah, I, 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 how's that even possible? Like, wow, okay, anyways, like, I, I just want to say that, um, rather than watching, like, the Pierce Morgan and Destiny, um, uh, panel, uh, panel show, uh, Maybe watch that, but after that, watch the Finkelstein hit piece by Destiny. That's this is very funny, and it kind of makes sense why um, Finkelstein is so like I don't know. He has met. Uh, he, it will explain why the why he talks the way he is. Uh, why he talks the way um, during debates and everything, even on like uh, panels and TV shows. Just watch hey, it, man. It's this is real funny. quick, Mobot. I think you're confused. Mantis is saying that the like the mistake that I made was Fingle voice now, please. He tricked us into Israeli Palestine constant again, Rezzy. No, Olive, you need to let this cook a little bit. Give me a moment. Give me a moment and trust. Okay. like actually listening to these people or if you really want to see it you can do this i will do the finkel voice soon you need a cooking it up face this is my cooking face or taking them seriously at whatsoever and like actually considering anything that they were saying mantis mantis yep hi yeah what i, I think moba's confused i don't know what moba's saying you are very quiet <clears throat> it's on your end i can't do anything i am a boomer you, you just I have to put the mic like closer to your mouth because I point. have, yeah, like if I turn the stuff up, then Arian is going to blast and then you'll be normal. But if I don't turn it up, then you're way too quiet and he's normal. Why? Uh... Okay, I'll okay, turn that's... me up to 100. I was on 85, okay. but I'll put it right okay. to my mouth. That's okay. better. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what Moba's saying. But what you guys were saying, like, why don't you think, are you both saying you don't think there's levels to introspection? No, no. we're saying that you couldn't put an overall level to a... To he just sounds tired, dude. <clears throat> it's, that's the thing. It's like, it's just, he just sounds tired, right? Like when he says, it's like, no, guys, we don't. It's not like that. There are different levels that people can introspect. And it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be okay. And we're gonna get there. Okay. Check DMs, LOL. Okay. Why is this a thing? Future episode of Tom Fuller show. Is where is this from even? Why is this a thing? Why is this a fucking thing? 
at all. <laughs> How did you make this? Does Resi do a Finkel impression? Yes. As Finkel, we will be reading out the leaked episode list of Tom Foolery. Okay, so I've gone ahead and come here today to tell you about Tom Foolery and what it is that he's up to. I've seen a future that many of you would not believe. There is no Palestine. There is no Mr. Flannery. Instead, we have a 35-episode series about Sassafras by Tom. The first episode is titled, Sass the Lawyer. The second episode is called, How Jerry Raped Me. The third episode is, Why Jerry Raped Me. <laughs> The fourth episode is Queeman, Femboy, a bomb champ. The fifth episode is Brent Simon is gone. And I need you to understand when Brent went ahead and left this freak out to dry, that's when I knew. I wasn't going to be able to be there with him anymore. I just wasn't there for him anymore. <clears throat> Number six. I think Aerodite has better armpits than Sass. Mind you, I do want you to understand. Simply. These are his titles. The titles that he, Tom, is doing. Number seven, I like a lot. Because it's kind of just something that I do regularly. It makes me think, Tom, he might have something there, you know? But episode seven, how I killed destiny in a debate. Number eight. What is a creep, really? Number nine. What's the deal with airline food? I don't know how you would say food, actually. That's a weird sound, right? I don't know. I don't know what, what that would be, actually. <clears throat> <clears throat> Number ten. Sass came back. Gone sexual. Number 11, Reservoir has always been fat and always will be. Number 12, I didn't realize that he needed likes and subscribes to not end it all. Number 13, <laughs> <laughs> and this is about when Tom's he start I I really was starting to lose him, right? <laughs> Number 30. <clears throat> now the black hose are after me. Arianoch. Number 14. Is all sex rape? Featuring weaponized discourse. 
Number 15. I wasn't at January 6th. I mean it. <laughs> Ryan, thank you for the $5 super chat. I don't know what to say, but I feel like you deserve more than a like for this. I appreciate you <laughs> very much. Number 16. I was just liking a picture of a cartoon. It was good art. I saw it. It was not good art. It was the same sort of art that the Americans would drop on Palestinian children, killing them because they didn't put real parachutes in there. <clears throat> Number 17. No, I didn't know that was Dookie. <clears throat> Number 18. I met Claw. He named his kid after me. 19. Pranking a bank teller. 20. It got kind of dark over here. All right, got kind of dark. Don't know what to say. Going to London. Number 21. Finding the femboy. Number 22. Catch for us the foxes in the vineyards, the little foxes. Number 23, Freddy is gone. Number 24, Sass, I'm sorry, I was wrong. I really thought he turned it around there. I really thought he turned it around there, but... Unfortunately, he was a dumbass. His 25 was, yeah, it was bait. No, I'm not sorry. <laughs> 26. How the world should be. 27. An Iranian imam changed my life. <laughs> 28. <laughs> um, one sec, sorry, I gotta fix this one. <laughs> I just made this way funnier. Okay. <clears throat> just want you to know number 28 I have joined ISIS ending the Aryan arc 29 I'm back in Georgia says I need you 30 new lease on life 31 making Haas understand 32, Kelly Jean is a whore who took everything from me. 33, Mantis has left me and I'm just done. 34, Dad, are you with me? 35, Mantis, the wedding. <laughs> Yeah, these are the next three three months of streams, by the way. <laughs> Can you imagine Tom just joins ISIS for like two fucking weeks, dude? That would be amazing. All right, we'll work on that. That, that was. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to the uh, channel. Things like that. Uh, this is one of the better Finkelstein impressions. <clears throat> Here. Well, I can do it better, but like the thing is, I gotta like kind of chill out a little bit, right? A little bit. Just a little bit. <clears throat> Had the manifestation of Nui, the unveiling of the company of heaven, 
Every man and every woman is a star. Every number is infinite. There is no difference. Help me, a warrior lord of Thebes, in my unveiling before the children of men. Be thou, Adit, my sacred center, my heart and my tongue. Behold, it is revealed by I was the minister of Hoppakrat. The carbs is in the cool, not the cool in the carbs. Worship then the carbs, and behold my light shed over you. Yeah, I know. Make it hilarious. She got it down pretty good. Yeah, we, we yeah we've been working on it. We've been working on it. Um, all right, let's uh let's uh keep working on the, this video though. All right, let's uh, let's do that. I deleted the monkey. Guys, I unfortunately have deleted the monkey. You got to give me a moment to figure out where the monkey is and where how to become the monkey again. I need to be the monkey too. Can't be, cannot not be the monkey. When that's the thing. There we go. There we go. Don Beasy, good afternoon, love you. <clears throat> but now we're locked in. <laughs> I hate myself. I hate it. All right, we're back. Locked in. Person's introspection. So if you go watch Brittany's like actual video on the introspection, she does uh, the entire way she talks about it is this overall level of like willingness to introspect and you having like a level of insight and to know that you can introspect. And that's what the whole thing is about. But mm -hmm. we're saying that nobody is like, you can't put this overall level of introspection. You can say, hey, when it comes to like your <clears throat> your work ethic, like how introspective are you on your work ethic and how like willing are you to be critical of yourself on work ethic? Or Scallywag, thank you for the $10 dono. Domo, domo. Why did that not go in the typical? Why did that not go in the tip goal? How willing All right, are let me you figure to that out. The way Sorry. That you interact Thank you very much for the 10. I appreciate you. And kind of judge yourself and be critical of yourself on how you guys interact. Or do you have some level of pride there that keeps you from actually taking their criticism seriously or trying to improve on yourself? Tube tube. I'm like 35 minutes behind, but I hope you're well. Bro, in like... 15 minutes, JubeTube is going to be laughing his ass off for a little bit. I'm very happy for him, dude. I'm very, very happy for him. All right, let me like, figure out what this is up with. But these are all different yeah, sections of, of your it. life. That, that's all of... Right, but we yeah, are but saying that think... you could give levels to each section, but there is no overall. Okay. This is the Hassan argument all disagree. over again, where you can't say think... a job is overall hard. Wait, I have any... or... Go ahead. Okay. I think I get um, it. Just... You, what you're doing. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Okay, yeah, you you go first. You go first, because then I can understand where you guys are coming from. Yeah, I think the problem is, let's just say introspection and introspective person, right? Uh, we we should separate those. I think uh, there's a level to being introspect uh, uh, introspective, but there's no level to being uh, oh scally why good evening love you jesus i didn't even see you in chat i'm fucking half of i'm i'm here okay it's my day off i was like playing things don't worry about it it'll make sense right? soon for example uh science in terms of like hard science and soft science there's hard science obviously have like you need harder uh threshold for evidence right uh, compared mm -hmm. to uh, soft sciences but scientists there whoever the scientist is they can there's no like better scientists or uh, or worse scientist i like that like we're watching like probably some of the worst like top 10 yet <laughs> because like every once in a while we go off onto fucking like israel palestine boulevard and shit like we're watching the worst top 10 yet in terms of like dumb insane shit 
and we're still like just fucking crushing it's, it. It's just Tom that, isn't saying much, uh, you know. And like honestly, what you special- I don't really know how much it's like this introspection thing. Like Tom being like, "Yeah, I introspected, therefore I'm good." It's like I don't. This is what the one thing I don't like about Bernie Sanders. Stuff. I do like the idea of saying like people are at different levels, especially if you're doing that in relationship to yourself, right? Understanding like the value of different like, relationships and the separation there, right? But. This, like, kind of like, um, I'm introspecting. Have you done that? Uh, yeah, I'm just going to listen to myself stuff. Feels, like, kind of bad. Um, it feels kind of bad, right? I think, ultimately, it's, like, one of those where... I don't know. I think I like Brit, but I... I wonder... I guess, like, the thing is, it's, like, she doesn't... I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't understand her. I just don't understand her. That's it. That's all it is. I just, I fully don't understand her. She seems happy though. So good for her. You know what? Good for fucking her. Honestly, let's be fucking real. If she's happy, I don't think she's hurting anybody. Right. I don't think she's hurting nobody. You know what? And like, honestly, she's probably making quite a few people happy. You know what? Good for fucking her. You know, good on her. That's like. That's what being see, a good I think, scientist. I think that's dismissive, but I think that is that is dismissive because you can be a pretty introspective person, like you can be sort of introspective as a person. Like you were saying, it's just like an inherent thing almost, or like that's just the type of person you are. But you could be pretty bad at introspection, even though you you like have the capacity and you've thought about it. You can think about that sort of thing and not really know what to do with it or not really use that introspective like knowledge that you're gained not apply it in situations and like tom what you're saying is you you should further separate it into areas of life well i think that is part of the levels it's like yeah if you've got someone who's an introspective person they're actually sitting down and figuring things out in a bunch of areas but you know they're not really succeeding in terms of applying it well then they're not as high up on the level scale and then say they're introspective then they're successful in applying it but only in some areas well then they're not so high up on the level system wait but we're saying that's everybody we're saying literally everybody will only be in some areas 100 percent of people will only be exactly. in some areas and Why? it's going th- because that's just true. It's just. Wait, what? That there, a hundred percent of people are only going to be capable of doing this in some areas, and that there are things that are like completely ingrained into your being. I mean, not necessarily, right? Like that's like the arguments. You're a five. You're like a four. Okay, chill. Um. Yeah, like, but this is like a why is like a no, you can change. Like, yeah, like if Tom's going to be like, yeah, man, I can't shape shift into a giraffe, even if I want to be a fucking giraffe, you know, but like, that's just not like if that's like the only way it's like, otherwise, like everything else, it's not like an immutable characteristic. Yeah, you could change it. You know what I mean? How do we find out our levels? Um, Is there a freeway? Uh, yeah, liking the channel and sitting here for a while. All right, that's the free way to do it. Okay. It's like nobody is introspective across the board. So because like, you cannot where... experience every walk what? of Why life not? or every experience. You cannot relate yeah. to everyone. Yes, yes you're going you're, to prior. You're... What level is it when you introspect and realize everyone else is the problem? Um, I like to call that a uh, level uh, alpha. Maybe a level sigma, I think. Level alpha is actually a radiation poisoning. Um, I don't know who we're shouting out here, okay? What you're doing is taking... Yes, what, of what, course, but it's within the individual's experiences that you evaluate their level of introspection. It's not within wait, the context of society. What level is it where you have diarrhea? One, okay? You're not introspecting, you're outro-spewing that you evaluate their level of introspection okay but that you have to put some like value on each section of uh what it is they're introspecting on right and then that's going to matter more or less to each person so if i say hey i'm super willing to introspect on um on like the way that i talk about things on stream so that more and more people are capable of understanding it i stand by everything i said i have introspected I will not change anything I've done. I've decided that I am better and I am just, I am here now and this is it. 
and I'm going to be super critical of how I analyze myself and my words and then try to like uh, continuously improve on that. Um, that's just like one place that I'm introspective on. But if I'm not willing to be introspective on like how honest I'm being when I talk about things and how uh, – how Peter, good afternoon, love you. I think this way he's yang out. There's more likely some things people might not be able to have introspection on certain things, like Tom and his goom time. Yeah, I think some people are going to be like, you're probably going to have like incapacities, right? To like go ahead and be able to see outside of yourself and have that be like a valuable thing that can allow for change, right? Like, yeah, like introspection is good because basically what you're saying is this is a goal, this is something I want to do, this is something I want to be, and then I'm going to go be it, right? Like there's an action, there's like a lot of definition there. That works really nicely. The issue is that's only going to take you so far. At some point, you do have to consider externalized sources, okay? Like, they discovered gravity, they figured out gravity shit, like, what, thousands of years after we figured out, like... Grandpa Stone, thank you for the $5. I apologize for absolutely nothing. Peeping Tom Goonery, right? So, the thing is, you're going to run into the problem where you no longer have some value. So introspection becomes a part of like consuming externals to go ahead and fill in those remainder parts, right? Um, I introspected on all my past relationships and realized they were all retarded. This is nothing about me, by the way. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It, it is that kind of energy, right? It's definitely that kind of energy. Um, I'm introspective about my drinking habits there. I've realized is not harmful to my life. Um, I mean, just don't go on Queenman streams and you'll probably be okay. You know, sick. That's kind of all I got to say to that one. Mr. Girl kind of art Brittany. Uh, watch Mr. Girls talk to Brittany. She tries to call his bluff him to explain the level since he was criticizing him. He explained them perfectly and Brittany admitted it. Give me a link to that. I'm interested. I prefer jam on pancakes instead of syrup. Bold move. Um, I make a uh, I make a blackberry jam in the summer that I think actually is fantastic for pancakes and all other warmed glutinous morning shit. Sawthroat. Good afternoon, love you. Is he being self deprecating again, or he's found another word he doesn't know the meaning of? Um, he's introspecting. That's it. Accurate. I am when I get this information across. These are like, wh which one do you value more? Which one is it? Like the understanding from people or the honesty of the in of the message? Like, well, I think the the whole point is not to be evaluated in terms of other people's values. It's to be a, a, it's to evaluate yourself, point the arrows inward, and to evaluate yourself based on your own value system. So it's not up for other people to like judge you. Once you get like to a level of introspection, you stop you stop looking outward for like validation like that. That's so, the point. Yeah, I, I disagree. So you're I think that that's Britney's a. I I almost was like, oh, fuck, did Mantis just say what I said? And that's like, no, no. At some point, you introspect so much that you no longer care about the outside world, which is where Tom's at. All right. he He's what's going on? Wait, is Mantis actually like kind of turning on him, turning on him a little bit? Because I think that like she kind of realizes the problem with like just being like, yeah, I introspected and, you know, everything's here. I think uh, that language. if you don't, you're yes, being I, introspective I, within Fresh the picked. bubble. Yeah, uh, late June, early July, I've got like four miles of blackberry bushes that I picked from. Glitness, good afternoon, love you. Yes, like, I was about to say, that's right. within Britney's bubble. I think that once you get to that point, you are no longer, you're just not a very introspective person if you think that that's true. Yeah, I that think that you have to take into no, consideration think, everybody think, else's perception well, uh, of you. Look. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get the sentence out. I think that you have to take into consideration everybody else's perception of you, and yeah, you have, have to, to compare yourself to them in order to actually yes. be introspective. If you are just saying, well, let's just get rid of other people people's perception all right this is fine this, this isn't difficult of me and not really care about they're just agreeing right of this then you're just not a very introspective person no no you, i'm not saying you get rid of it and you don't like whatever i just think that i, I think it's you it's you can be capable of popping bubbles but i don't think you necessarily have to like 
operate inside of every single bubble all the time. I think that like understanding there are bubbles and that you can hop and that you, you have certain like places okay. in each one or you don't want to be in any one. You're just happy to float or whatever. All of that is just like it's still according to you. You, you, you can see things. It's like, okay, so say with your drama and stuff, like I feel like I'm not sure I'm not operating. None of this, by the way, is operating off Britney's level system because I haven't gone through it properly and it, it would be a disservice. But I'm just trying to understand what you guys are meaning. Um, but with your stuff, Tom, I think it gets to a point where like you were saying you, you were introspecting and figuring out what you could say and figuring out how you could say it to get people to understand it better. And then you get to a point and you realize, well, it's just not going to be like heard probably. It doesn't matter how you say it or what you say. They're just not going to hear it. That is like a realization to come to. And then that is the introspective part would be to be like, okay, it's actually not my job in this situation to like be understood or be heard by these these people. Like <laughs> Mantis is like the therapist that prescribes lowly. Tom, you just gotta accept they're never gonna understand you. They will never understand you. And you need to accept what you've been given in this world. You're there, buddy. You're there, buddy. You got it. I wrestle weaves. Good afternoon. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> Like sure. just a little stop. bit, just a little time. Like the introspective part would be being able to just detach yourself, like not having that like, toxic treat. attachment to trying to get people. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh my god! People who aren't willing to hear you to hear you. The like introspective part would be like, okay, I'm not. I don't really care. I'm very aware that this is bad faith, and so like I am willing to detach from like their validation or their like them understanding me. Okay, I don't know if that has as much to do with introspection, but uh, I don't yeah, feel wait. like that's introspection. That's just feel, wait. That's feels all, like... Have you guys heard of attachment theory? <laughs> What? Um, I don't know. Can you just what, what, is, what is attachment? So, theory? like, the way that you... Um, it's kind of like the way that you... Your interpersonal, like, attachment to things, or it, it can be, like, emotional or, like, with, with people, or... I don't really know how to describe it. Let me look it up, how they actually say it. It's defined. But it's according it's to John Felby and Mary Ainsworth, infants... What is going on with this? No, boy, no. Why is Mantis talking about attachment theory? It's prog uh, progressed through various stages of attachment. There are four stages of patient-infant attachment, which include... Uh, undiscriminating social responsiveness, uh, discriminating social responsiveness, active proximity seeking behavior, and goal corrected partnership. Yeah, so it's a very interpersonal and emotional, mental, psychological stuff. But like, this can be if if you're like an introspective person, you want to. <laughs> Sonia, whoa, just got here. Is that somebody who has an estrogenized male body? <laughs> Oh no! Go deeper into introspection. Sonya, you might look into. Oh, okay. What attachment style am I? The whole crew's here, Maybe. guys. We got everybody. Seven. She, if seven's in the somewhere in the woods, we're there. Uh, where are the pronouns of the person talking? Great question, Freddie. Good evening. Love you. Um, I have no idea. If I'm going to be honest with you, I, I don't know. You think this is all pseudoscience crap? I don't. I think it's. Pretty, yep. Um, Sass is here. Pretty, pretty yeah, everybody's here. Better. That's like yes, and then it, it affects yeah. how you interact with other people. If you can understand like yourself better and what like, and then th if you can do that to like a really deep level, then you can. <laughs> we have now entered phase two of the Twitch Paul Avengers arc. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> <laughs> Is kid the Batman? <laughs> actually, understand other people a little bit better. You know when it's yes. worth but that's worth getting attached I, to things, worth detaching yeah. th from things, Hold worth. On. You but know? that's where that's where the value part comes in. That's what I'm talking about. It's like once we add in values, it gets it gets very subjective. If I'm, um, yes, but everything is rather subjective. I think like that's fine. Hold on. It is. Hold on. Um, it, it, at the point where it comes to where I'm like deciding whether or not I want a group of people to understand me, that's just like goal oriented. That just has to do with like what my uh what it is that I'm trying to achieve is. But that's not as much about like introspection because if my goal is to get them to understand me, there there is like a level of introspection that that would take to try to like understand where the separation is between them and me and then what it is that they want out of this versus what I want out of this and then trying to find some middle ground to get that to make sense. The, it's not like an introspection to say, oh, I've introspected enough to realize that they're all just too retarded to get it and they're just not worth my time. Like that's, yeah, that's going to be more like goal oriented. <laughs> Okay, no. So the first time I've been kind of going along with you guys being like, yeah, you're introspected and um, you're I'm right. <laughs> the right. You know what I mean? So, you know what? I think we can definitely say I introspected and decide it wasn't worth my time is like a, is a slightly different statement, but also kind of worse. <laughs> I have chosen now to be ignorant, ignorant of what everyone's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Tom 10, baby. Um, Who is yeah, that uh, slash current Katie in the extended universe? Shockingly enough, Osama bin Laden. Okay. 
suppose. Yeah, like evaluating what I, I think it's just asking the why. Like it's not just what's my goal in this. It's like okay, why is that my goal? Introspection is asking why. So it's like okay, what do I want? But why do I want that? Like why do I want I to validate people yeah. who aren't really going to validate me in the way that I really need it or that they are even really capable of? It's not just what you want. It's absolutely a why. If all of introspection yeah, is just why, 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 and also the whole. Subject- all right, I need to ask a question, Weppy. You sent me some Mantis's advice thing, and you sent me an Instagram. I don't know if you want me to bring this Instagram onto stream. Um, I I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Um, yes, guys. All right, everybody. This is not coom time. This is not coom time. This is anything but coom time. Okay. All right. Let's not. Sulfur, I need you to check it real quick. Can you just check it for me? Just check this link, because I, I'm looking at it real quick. I could be wrong. Okay, just check the link. I'm, I'm sending the link to get verified. All right, I'm sending the link to get... Weppy, for the love of God, give me a moment. <laughs> give me a goddamn moment. It's funny. Just let me let it be funny, Weppy. Okay. How do you not get? We're just building up a little anticipation. There's like this conversation is 50 minutes long and we skipped through like 10 minutes of it. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. You should have been like, oh, I guess. <laughs> All right. Play into the God. None of you are showmen. <laughs> I'm alone here. All right. <laughs> Why did you send me this? <laughs> Why did you send me this Instagram? <laughs> You shouldn't help people because you are not responsible for their problems. Your start chart says you're allowed to be a bitch today. (laughs) How has social media damaged your brain? It's able to confront you because you experience anxiety when talking about the problems you've created. (laughs) <laughs> I had introspected and realized you're retarded. No, you introspected and realized, wait, this is kind of funny, okay? Fuck me, look at this font. Cho is getting on with this. We are not allowed to coom, or is it just locked down, looked down on? I'm introspected and my cooming isn't hurting anyone. It's hurting yourself, son. I'm going to be honest with you, it's hurting yourself, son. A relationship is a two-way street. Your partner should worship you, and in return, you offer your presence. What does it mean to be a professional boundaries coach? I do not feel comfortable answering that question, and you need to respect that. <laughs> oh, man. I lo- I actually kind of love these. I feel like this is um very much uh, things that are difficult are bad. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You don't owe anyone basic human compassion. This this is my favorite one. All right, cool, whatever. Social change begins and ends with you becoming famous. Perfect. All right, let's finish up the Tom 10. That's it could have been a funnier meme, but Weppy, you fucked it up. You fucked it up the you fucked up the meme. Okay. You you fucked up the meme. If objective thing, like when it comes to it, like interpersonal interactions, social interactions, emotional, mental, psychological, anything, all of, like I don't think there's a lot of objectivity. I, I think it is subjectivity that you're kind of talking about. Even though people like to categorize things and try and find the objective truth to everything, I, I think that those conversations go so poorly because it's just not really that possible. And if you start yeah, to see I think that it's not that possible, you can understand a lot. <laughs> I will not stand to be slandered as a coomer. Here's the. This is the thing. All right, what's this one? Oh, you just posted it in the chat. Okay, I get it. All right. It's not actually her Instagram. Okay. A lot more. Why people do the things they do. Why they, like, it's say the behave Yeah, but there's, there's a reasonable level to this as well. Like, we, it's it, it just being subjective in and of itself isn't, uh, doesn't say much. Because when we're saying, like, if somebody's saying, oh, I've introspected on this, and actually I don't think that I want to be an honest person. I don't want to tell the truth. I think I'm better off just lying to everybody and getting them to bend to my will. I, I think most of us would look at that person and say, oh, yeah, that's just not a very introspective person. There's a level of reason. I'm going to be honest, Weppy. I've been introspecting about this. I don't think I labeled you as a coomer. Especially when the end result of the joke was something that was very much anti coom And I think that you need to introspect into realizing that I'm right. Um, and the reason I specifically need to say this is because... Let's just scroll down for a little bit. Fight the urge to... I've been told I should fight the urge to people please. No one should be pleased when I'm around. Okay? Come on. 
Webby, get real. Ability to what it is that's introspective and um, into what we would call more versus less introspection. Whereas like in this case, getting specific groups to understand you isn't going to be more or less introspection. That's just going to be goal oriented. <laughs> Well, yeah, because you've just reduced it to, like, getting groups to understand you. Yes. Well, that's what I'm talking like about. Like you're, you're, you're just, you're just, you're just staying it. shallow and not going any deeper. You're just, in order, like, yeah, you're making it goal-oriented. And you're making, like, it all about, like, getting people to listen to you. But that's staying so very you're shallow. you're making it goal-oriented. Whereas I'm saying, regardless of who it is, I'm normally going to have some level of introspection to try to figure out where the disconnect is and try to understand why there is uh, that level of separation. Like, the, but you're saying, well, no, the mistake was trying to get them to understand in the first place because they're already not worth it. That's goal-oriented. Whereas introspection, like, would be like, oh, regardless of who it is. I'm going to try to figure out why there's that disconnect in the first place. Yeah, and but it, if it was true introspection, it's just looking at you. It's not necessarily looking at another person. And, and it's me, my it actions, just... and why it is that they have a level of disconnect. It's both. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not saying like what, like. <laughs> Let me send this one. <laughs> Don't be tricked by manipulative people considering into considering their perspective. <laughs> <laughs> that you can't do all of the above steps and like look at how you're communicating and change the way you're communi communicating because you think there's like room for improvement or you think you could have done something better of course that's li literally what it is i'm just saying like it, of course it gets oh. to a point where you're like okay well i feel like <laughs> i've done my best here i've done my best here i've done at least like enough for it to be received in, in a way that's not like dishonest God, I I like that's that's what I said. and then that's, that's what when I you said. like learn where the boundaries are and you step away yeah that's, that's what i said is oh. that like i had to like actually like second guess myself throughout this and try to figure out what it was that i was doing that was making this so hard for other people to understand and then i had to come to the conclusion that yes there just was no getting through to these people because they don't want to understand they're not trying to understand mm -hmm. and that's where the disconnect was that's what i said but then you said that that's where you made a mistake in the first place was trying to figure out how they could understand <laughs> understand me mom all the small things tom's fair you see i made reddit posts they weren't written by ghosts always i know mantis is my hoe watching waiting arian arc isn't baiting <laughs> I well, like I just, confused. I just saw it. No, I just saw it. I saw it faster than you, I suppose. That's <laughs> no, no, I, I'm so confused. Like at the moment, like uh, Mentis described introspection, like focusing on yourself. Like I agreed with her. And I don't know why Tom. Tom is like also saying the same thing, but in a different way. I'm like, we're talking about yeah, something like... else at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is different. But um, yeah, no. I, I think the, mostly the reason I jumped in was because I, I didn't understand, like, you're saying, well, they're introspective in this area, but not that area. And then I didn't really understand what you meant by, well, then it's just a values thing and where you place the value in your priority yes, list. because it's values. a hierarchy. You're listing these people <laughs> yes. one, two, three, four, and five based on a hierarchy. And so you have to move up the hierarchy based on some <laughs> section that they're introspective on that you think that section is more important than the others. And so No, I don't think that's how it works. I didn't think right. that was how I might be wrong, but I didn't think that was how I don't think I, I she never was it she never gets in hang on, two hang on. sections like that. So she does, it doesn't work like that. You're correct. And I'm saying that the, the, it's literally impossible the way that she explains it to just have this overall introspective level unless you are sectioning it off and then putting values on specific sections of introspection and valuing them more than the other sections. Well, I don't know if it's about sections or if it's about the depth because you, like that's the point that I'm making. I don't see it as like level one, two, three, four. I just see it as like the breadth and like depth of your your ability to introspect. Because like I said, you can be introspective, but you can be pretty like new to introspection where you've really only just started figuring out like this one thing and you're like, I don't know. It's just like, it, I don't see it as like a tier list, even though maybe the labeling like makes it sound like that i see it more as like the the depth and breadth of your like ability to introspect in a load of different situations across the board in various ways in various like areas of life where it's like yeah like you say if you're just the kind of person who's like oh yeah I, i'm okay at introspection in this area but like not in other areas of my life then you just be not as high of a level do, do you get what i see it more as like a, a moving like deeper and outward as opposed to like up, up a fucking ladder uh, what, the way Brittany describes like level five is like uh, level five um, introspective person. This is the first time I thought Mantis should take up stream. Mantis should take up stream. She just should, right? Like that's it. Like she actually should just to like argue, like argue with people. Like it's at this point, she would, she just she will argue with literally anyone. I'm also preparing something. Um, I do. I did just get word that um, Tom has um it does appear tom has taken on the uh christian right once again to go ahead and try to um dodge 
some of the issues of the things that uh, he's been going through. I have video of that. Um, I believe I have that. Um, let's see. I'm trying to find it real quick. <laughs> Fuck that fucked up. Where's the, I just did this because it's I just have been making like dumb scenes every once in a while where it's just like, okay, cool. We can just do this for a little bit. And it's like kind of funny or whatever. Here we go. Um, I got a video of that right here. <laughs> no, you know, this is like absolutely unbased. This is like some like TikTok, like, you know, like white oid shit. Okay. Like that, that's the issue. That's like, that's not even Hyperborea. If it was Hyperborea, I would, I, I would be like, yeah, okay. Maybe I'll make him less based. Right. But like, that's just like some like, you know, schizo Chris Nat fucking like, um, that was some schizo Chris Nash shit, just so that's there, right? Where were you during Tom 11 chat, right? <laughs> Anyways, that's just rape court. Well, no, it's um, night core of um, that um, every time we touch mixed with... What's that other one? Um, I can't even remember. We literally went over this. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm dying right now. This is the worst. I hate this. I hate that... Blackout, blackout, yeah, this one, blackout. Uh, so this is probably like the closest you're gonna get to the song in there, but you also have to add in like a little bit of every time we touch it at one point. That's uh, that's what you gotta do. Anyways. Things like everything is subjective. Um, nothing really, did she say nothing really matters? Um, or you just focus on yourself. Yeah, you don't care about like the perception of other people uh, in like societal uh, values don't matter as much to you, yeah. Yeah, and level two and three are like, uh, level twos are like, they're fine, like happy people. They just don't talk about philosophy or think about philosophy or the meaning of life. That's how she describes level two. And level three is like, they kind of dabble with philosophy, but they're just fine not questioning it or staying where they are. So everyone is between like level two and level three. That's how she describes it. And I feel mm -hmm. like, no, I don't think that's true. I think most of the time, everyone is, everyone knows that most of the time, every, uh, most things are subjective. I feel like that's like intu intuitively. Yeah. Everyone knows that. I don't when know we look at people who like achieve greatness in certain areas, we have to assume that they're okay. Is this just? Is he literally he, okay? So is he is he arguing anti-materialist shit? Technically, going to be super introspective. It's not. It's just postmodern bullshit. Okay. So if we look at somebody mind. like Michael who Jordan, cares? who was very good at basketball, this guy had to be hypercritical of himself the entire time. Nope, Always look wrong. at the smallest no, little things. I don't know if there's anything else here. You're so wrong. Shut up. Shut up. So wrong. Overrated. That he would look at the smallest little things that he would do wrong and introspect on it and be willing to admit this to himself and improve okay. and work on that. And that, like, this was something that he was very, like, willing to introspect on. But in his life, he was cheating on his wife. He was, like, uh, sleeping around a ton. He was partying a ton. He was doing a ton of other fucked up shit all over the place. People didn't want to be friends with him. He was not, like, somebody who was enjoyable to be around. He was very willing to introspect on basketball and very critical of himself and willing to work on those things. But in a bunch of other places, he was not. This, like, he's Hang on. willing I think to you're go getting deep confused. in introspection. But what? Okay. What What do you think I'm getting? I feel like you're describing the ability to like self-examine and self like improve in, in like a when it comes to the you Michael just Jordan example you use like. But I, but it's about your thoughts and feelings. It's and more feelings and yeah, it's not about like skill or te uh, technical it's stuff. Not... It's more about feelings, like how much emotional maturity. It's it's, it's much more. It's like but, introspection is on, much wait, more wait, than just oh wait, I've like no, I'm no, trying no, to perfect my basketball fucking on, game. No, it's no, like it's okay, I need to like figure out how I think. Okay. Oh God. Okay. I. The, it is both like your willingness to be critical of yourself in certain areas most of the time is going to be cut off for some reason you're going to have some sort of ego that stops you from being willing to introspect in specific areas and so in order to get past that ego and introspect you are going to have to do work to start to be self-critical and willing to admit mistakes and and uh things like that these are all this is what i'm talking about when i'm talking about like in different sections of your life he gets it he does get it right he does get it he has to get it you can't say that and not get it, right? Like, he, he gets it. He has to get it, right? In different areas. Some spots you're going to be willing to be more self-critical and self-analyze uh, versus other spots. But the like the parts of your life that you're willing to do that in are going to vary. And we're going to put a value <laughs> on the ones that you are uh, willing to do it in and other values on the other ones that you're not willing to do it in. 
Yes, but I think when it comes to introspection, the value is placed on like feelings. Oh my God, someone's starting. You can't hear the road work or like the construction work outside, right? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, it's fine. No. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I this I disagree, but I need to. Uh, I, I don't know why I disagree. I just think that no, the way that you're explaining intro, right. intro, it's all huh? about feelings. No, you're 100 percent right. I it is. I just no, 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 why this on. is still feelings. I just explained why this is still feelings. No. I literally just, just calm I, down. I feel like it's no. mostly feelings. I don't think those things we will categorize <laughs> as int- being introspective. I'm talking about your thoughts. I'm talking about your feelings. I'm talking about the way that you. <laughs> He's so angry. To analyze things. That's what. Why is he so That's angry over this? Yes. Okay. Okay, when I think about int- being introspective, I, the synonyms that they describe is inner self, emotions, and stuff like that. So, wh- when I think about inner self... Yo, symbolic noise. Good evening. Love you. Self, I don't really think about thoughts. I think about, like, your emotions. Like, what makes you happy and um, why you know, things makes you, make you sad. I don't, I don't feel like the, uh, the um, MJ example is, like, adequate explaining, like, uh, him being um, introspective, like, improving his game and whatever. Dab, good afternoon, love you. I don't know. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything about his inner self. Why? Tyler, good evening, love you. I don't know. I, I kind of agree. Like, I think I'm having trouble with that example because I don't think it takes introspection necessarily. To I just feel like he just slammed the drink and got like kind of angry about stuff, you know, right? Like just a little bit, like just a little bit, just like no, no. <laughs> like. It's- such a fucking such a meaningless argument oh man i think about the way i think about things more than you do but because i do it better like who fucking cares bro become like a really good really skilled basketball player (laughs) tom just quit streaming (laughs) could you imagine so i think when i got sent a message in um kicks we were just playing games over there right uh, when I got sent a message in my kick chat that Tom was going back into it, all right, I think it was like around here, right, um, that it happened. Cause I checked it out. I'm like, all right, I guess we're going back in, guys. Just one more ride. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to end the stream and then I'm going to go eat food and then come back. So I did all that. <clears throat> so I think this is about when I was like, there is a possibility he just doesn't come back. There isn't because he he is still streaming right now, but there's a possibility, okay? Uh, or re- or like a CEO. Uh, to some it would to some be level very it does. funny. Not, not to some level it does. Here's screaming. They're screaming from from around the scene. You know, there are other people screaming. It's not just Tom. Tom yells. All right, a wolf cries out. A baby cries. The scene grows quieter until only the baby's crying remains, only to be rushed with a quick mute placed over the sound coming out of it. <laughs> But like, it's kind of Tom returns covered in blood. Shallow. I'm not sure if you, if not all CEOs, but I could assume that someone who's willing to put that much work into something that's external, like to themselves, I don't know if they're actually going to be like, that much of a deep philosophical like, thinker about their own like emotional, like cognitive and behavioral processes relating to their consciousness. There's probably a different word you describe that quality, but when I think about being introspective, I, I'm thinking about inner self, like like in your emotion, like that's all I'm thinking about, not like other stuff well it's a number of things right it's pretty similar like it, t- it takes a lot to be introspective first it takes like like yes think like turning all the arrows inward like not not completely blocking out everything outside but just like focusing on just you and your like the way you are and why you do the things you do so it, it's like a process of also like self uh discovery and self acceptance to some degree and then self evaluation and self um being cr- not critical in like a harsh way but you know what i mean self criticism and analysis and then and then using yeah. that in all areas of life right that's what i'm saying correct that's what i'm talking about so when I'm talking about basketball again, I'm talking about, yes, your actions, the things that you're doing, and then questioning why you're doing that, being willing to self-analyze, be critical of yourself, and then reassess uh, how you should do these things in the future and then try to improve on that. Like, that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about uh, introspection. And yes, I think that that, like, as somebody who played sports for a while, like, that introspection was definitely important because there is an ego that you have to get past in order to actually start these processes in the first place. And even, like, mm-hmm. coaches trying to get you to improve on things and telling you how you're doing something wrong, it takes a lot to even listen to what they have to say and then try to put that into practice. These are all uh these all take introspection and uh discipline and i also think i also think that like when you and hey i'm not there clearly but like when you uh become really like adept at introspection it's not something that you you do after the fact a lot of the time it's like when you're really skilled and well practiced and you really keep doing it constantly it's something that you become much more capable of doing in a present moment so i think that the reason why i was like mantis speaks 
is that I haven't seen Mantis around literally anything or anywhere, right? I really haven't seen shit. You know what I mean? It is actually the most, this is all absurd. This is all very, very absurd. Like, <clears throat> oh, it's just, like it's something it's that absurd. you can bring closer to the present as opposed to like after the fact or Jessica, good evening. Love you. What'd you miss? Um, this is going to be a sh probably going to be a pretty short stream, but what'd you miss? Nothing really. We're just having a lot of fun. Okay. Just a lot when of fun. It's been a happens, fun stream. Like you start getting much better and more proficient at it. So that in a moment of like, let's say high emotional, uh, like something triggering or in a moment of high stress or in a moment of this, you're able to like understand yourself that well that you can not, that you can like change the way you would want to react and just respond and blah, 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 blah. So it's less mm -hmm. about like learning from mistakes. You just, you get better at, um, at like dealing with situations so you don't even necessarily make those mistakes. To be honest, yeah, I think Mantis is the star power here, right? Because like really, like I kind of tuned out of like Tom Temp because like, you know, like here and there, it's like people be like, oh, look at this Erudite video, right? Look at this one, look at that one, look at this thing, look at that thing, right? And you know, like I'll tune into it like just here and there because it's like, oh boy, wow, I guess this is happening. I guess we ought to do this now today. Right? Whenever, like, something funny or interesting happens, right? So, the thing is, I know Mantis has been around in chat. I haven't seen her on stream. Apparently, she argued with Ben Thorpe at some point. If somebody has that, let me know. Although We're almost done with this. Gone. I'm but almost yeah. sure. So I don't know. I, there's something about the way you see it, Tom, that I just disagree with, and I haven't quite put my finger on it, but it just... Like, Do you know I, what I the reason why? It's because the way coming. Tom described um, uh, the MJ version, like, he said that, okay, it takes a lot of, like, attention and... Um, skill to listen to your coach and apply it to your gameplay it's basically he's basically saying oh uh, you're basically applying what you learn and that is like a part of introspection and i and willing to admit that you did something wrong that you can improve on mm -hmm. that thing and the more introspective you get and the better you get the more your ego grows the less willing you're going the yes the less, less willing you'll be to improve on those things in the future that means that you have to be more introspective to get past your ego again to be willing to admit that you are making mistakes and things that you can improve on again and it is a never-ending cycle of improving getting better your head gets inflated you're thinking yes i'm fucking better than all these other people they can't tell me what i can or can't do and nobody nobody could help me improve but then you still have to get past that over and over again to be willing to improve and it's like yes it's a never-ending cycle of introspection and ego huh. and fighting with yourself Yes. This process. What? <laughs> you gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. Indeed. Says just now. They uh, I saw Mantis and Kankle's chat recently. She said EMP Dave looks like a bowling ball. Um, EMP Dave looks like a villain. Um from daredevil who got tired of being a villain and was like you know what fuck it i'm just gonna help him out on the internet right You're just describing life i think they have some special skill no one else has yeah but like it's the thing it's like i'm gonna kind of look at this as like a what's the point of like this like never-ending pursuit of like greatness at some point you do come to an end there and therefore there becomes failure things obviously become more difficult to surpass whatever your physical limit is right at some point, you will get to a physical limit for anything. And yeah, there is a food shops and chat thing. I'm letting it like I'm letting it go. All right, Tom versus Ben, March twelfth stream. When was that? That was six days ago. No, I'm fine. <laughs> that's okay. That's that's too long ago. Okay, that's too long ago. Who cares? All right, let's run this up. You describe that is introspection. I know, but I'm talking about basketball. <laughs> yeah, but, What but I just described process. was me talking brother, about basketball. Brother, brother, you, the process you just said, like uh, letting go of your ego, that is like, that is introspection. This Not is like what I've been talking about. No, letting go of the ego is ego death, isn't it? And it? Like, I'm pretty sure that's what ego death is supposed to be, right? The entire freaking time, Aryan. This is what I've said over and over. I'm just repeating myself. Yes, I... The fact I, that you I, understood I it you this time to... is good, but it's the same thing. Over and over. Well, you added unnecessary sentences. Like, what? Well, just, <laughs> right, just say you let go of the ego. Well, no, you wait, need to introspect wait, wait. on this. I, I, I appreciate your uh, input, but I feel that you really need to set aside some time to go back and watch this and introspect on uh, your listening skills. How about that? All right.
Oh my gosh. I think the next Tom Ten thing that I'm gonna call is Tom unleashes the fury, no holes barred. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the next one. That's the next insane title for Tom Ten. Air Air Ron, good afternoon, love you. Dude, the problem is is like realistically every one of these conversations he has is incredibly boring. <laughs> But he says really dumb things, and it's kind of funny. But you gotta be, you gotta add a lot to it to make it actually, like, really go right. Otherwise, it's just like, yeah, I think about the way I feel about things. I don't care about how other people feel. Therefore, I am above everything, and I have gone ahead and moved along from it. That's how this feels. This is why I'm done. Oh my god, it's 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 very funny because it's easy to make fun of. <sighs> yeah, ego, this isn't really real. Oh, it absolutely is, Trip. Good afternoon, love you. 100%. Well, so I didn't mean to trigger you by saying, like... But I, I mean, it absolutely is. And I'm not even saying, like, through, like, us using drugs or anything like that. <clears throat> Michael but... Jordan is, like, not an introspective person in the realm of playing basketball. I think he's mm -hmm. clearly capable of, of doing some level not of... Not better than LeBron. Yeah. I just, I think I just wouldn't necessarily... I don't... I wouldn't use the word it's introspection for, like... Different game. Yeah, like introspection is really just oh i understand why i feel these things there's no like actual cause or like you know direction that that necessarily has to move right you have to apply that movement through some other form so even this isn't like yeah there isn't a lot of value to this it's just saying oh i introspect oh i understand why i think the things i do and what i want to do Right. Th those are the things that he's introspecting. And then ultimately the the actual out understanding of that is I'm just not going to deal with it and I don't care anymore. You know. Just kind of funny. Ego death is more so being humbled. No, it's like. <sighs> it's like dissolving is the best way I can put it. If that means sense, if that makes sense, right? It's like dissolving. It's not humbled. It's just dissolving. Like it's, I, I. That's the best way I would put it. Wait, <sighs> I wouldn't use the word introspection for like someone who's really good at improving on a game. Like I'm not trying to just reduce it. I know there's a level to it, and I know there is some a like game. Of, uh, no. No, just void. Nothing. They ought that. It's just nothing of self-improvement that goes into that but there's something about the word using the word introspection where i don't know if you being good at a basketball game it shows that you're very good at like self-improvement and self like recognizing your flaws and improving like to get better at the game but i don't know if that really relates to consciousness so I, there's something about that i don't like the word you use i don't like it being applied like that but i don't know why yeah, tom needs to come up with a better example because like sports isn't like it's all about like learning strategies and through practice applying it like lots of practice and then applying it to you need learning. to get better at listening to examples that's what it is my example is fucking great you guys, yes, you're just you're just a two, and that's the problem. Is once you get to level three or four, you can start to understand Michael Jordan examples. You know what happens to level ones, Tom, in Britney's world? Yeah, yeah, they get bad. killed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, brother. Have a good night. Right. Love you. Bye. Bye. LeBron James. What the fuck? <laughs> oh man. Could have been funnier. Um, okay, so if you guys notice in the top here, we've not talked since and ended our relationship. There is a reason why that exists, okay? Because at the beginning of this conversation that Tom had, we have a obvious lie, so just just to be real, abuse and have shown that on I want to say that we watch this and we learn something. Someone's lying. I am more likely to believe that it's Tom. Mm. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, try again. Crap, I can nope. I, hold on, I'm sorry. I hear you through my, like, yeah. <sighs> Fuck, dude. 
<laughs> oh wait, I think I know what it is. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Okay, one more time. Okay. There. All right. Um, I just want to talk. Uh, I just want to check. Uh, do you want to talk about your conversation with Kyla? With Kyla? Oh yeah, sure. What's up? The, yeah, you're about, talking about. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, about you uh, being like changing the topic and whatever. Like, like specifically, um, she wanted to see uh, how. Like you know how she said you have a, a complicated relationship with the truth at the end when yes. she was testing you that if you were going to talk about the comments YouTube comments in um in the J J S T how do you say it? J S T L K okay. yeah, well, yeah well, so I went back and watched and when they asked me about it I said I don't remember what I said if somebody wants to send them to me they can and then by the time they sent them to me Dave and J S T L K were already on the stream so like but I I I even talked to her more recently and said I was like you, you said that I was like downplaying this I went back and watched it and I stand by everything I said in the way that I said it I'm really confused at how to how you came to that conclusion she's like oh I don't even remember at this point she's like I, if I mess it up my bad she's like but I'll have to go back and watch and try to like figure out for myself why. I thought that at the time, so I, I, I think, but yeah, I watched it. I don't understand how it came off as downplaying. I think, uh, from from her point of view, uh, uh, she thought that they were so like whack that uh, it was kind of obvious that you you would have thought that okay, they're kind of bad, like uh, calling her uh, a thought, internet thought, and uh, suck my dick, and like whatever, like uh, she's into you and whatever. And there were like obviously there were jokes. Wait, but I've but already yes, I've already said that though. Like obviously, like there are a ton of people that I can like fucking fuck with in that way, right? Like that they're not going to think twice about it and they're just going to like banter with you in that way. So yeah, so like it's obviously meant to be like hyperbolic and jokey at the same time. But I've said ever after that, like, yeah, obviously if that's not, if she wants to get upset about it, then like I probably shouldn't have uh, have said it that way. Like, but I, I said that on that stream. I said that on the stream after that day. I said it on the stream after that one. Like I've said it every stream after where people keep saying, oh, so you're still doubling down on this. I'm like, no, I've said it over and over. Like I probably shouldn't have said that. It's just that I don't think it's sexual harassment. So I will argue that point. But I, yeah, like it probably, uh, I probably shouldn't have said it. Like I, I've said this like a million times. Yeah, like and I had even said that me, to her as well on that stream. Yeah, the, exactly. The point of me saying this to you is isn't that I'm like so, I agree with her. I, I'm I think that she she's kind of like bad faith. Like when I'm a little confused when she said afterwards she's like oh I didn't tell you that I knew about this but I, obviously I did. I uh, communities in a way to that would be like more acceptable for women. And then they said like well why don't you speak about your own situation that came up and, and call out a little bit more. And she said no your what about your comments in JCLK's chat Tom like you already knew what I said so her what. Now the thing is, Tom. Like, I feel like they have like a agenda. Like, you were talking to her. Uh, like, the I don't think she's bad. Faith. I think that that's like a normal thing to do is to like kind of like I think it's a bad part of what you're... I, I have a higher standard for erudite. I would say because like, uh, talked with a journalist person, um, uh, a pro-Palestinian jour journalist, and the journalist asked like, uh, what do you think uh, the goal of Zionism is? And Destiny wait, did we miss it? A, am is... I like, am I dumb? Sorry. I might have just missed it because I was sending. I sent a message, and maybe my brain just zoned out of it real quick. I swear to fuck, during this whole spiel that Tom did right at the beginning of this whole thing, he said I talked to Sass and she needed to re-examine it. Right? I swear that happened behind the scenes as well. No, he was saying that it wasn't a thing until this happened. Until she came out that or he banned me over this, or he, you know, I like operations had the whole thing about it. Crap. Dude, my audio is so fucked right now. Yeah, I can't hear you. Okay, try again. No. Crap. I can't. Hello. I... Hello. Okay, you, it's me. Hold on. I don't know what it is. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Talk. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. What's up? The topic and whatever. Like, like specifically, um, she wanted to see uh, how, like, you know how she said you have a, a complicated relationship with the truth at the end? When yes. she was testing you that if you were going to talk about the comments, YouTube comments in um in the J JST, how do you say it? JST? JST, okay. okay. Yeah, well, yeah well, so I went back and watched, and when they asked me about it, I said, I don't remember what I said. If somebody wants to send them to me, they can. And then by the time they sent them to me, Dave and JCLK were already on the stream. So, like, but I, I, I even talked to her more recently and said, I was like, you, you said that I was like downplaying this. I went back and watched it, and I stand by everything I said in the way that I said it. I'm really confused at how, to, how you came to that conclusion. She's like, oh, I don't even remember at this point. She's like, I, if I mess it up, my bad. She's like, but I'll have to go back and watch and try to like figure out for myself why I oh, thought that. Was I this about Erudite? Bro, I fucking, like, it is so hard to fucking figure out what the fuck he's talking about. Jesus Christ. I fucking Her, hate pronouns. Uh, a thought, internet thought, and uh, suck my dick. And okay, so that's just it. It's just, so the whole story is, like, nothing about sass at all. Who the fuck told me that there was shit about sass? 
Someone told me there was shit about SAS. I don't, now I'm like fucking wondering if I've like fucking like, you know, hypnoted so myself into thinking it was about SAS. Want to just talk about like, Am I an idiot? Right? And uh, I, I think that's normal. I, I'm not just, I feel like that, that should be the way. And well, that, that, okay, so what, I think what, you're what in the right and Destiny is in the right too. What are you, a lot of the things that are being said and have questions and being like, we're close to me and it makes sense. Thank you. I thought you were I'm locked in. Kind of looks like you're a liar being dishonest. I don't have a problem with that. Her like trying to hide her cards for a bit to see if I was uh, going over and over on stream. Like any and have the which to do so. And that's exactly. Like, and I think sometimes people are so like debate brain that they want to just talk about like the thing, right? And uh -huh. I, I think that's normal. I, I'm not just, I, I feel like that, that should be the way. And well, that, that, okay, so what, I think what, you're in the right and Destiny is in the right too. Let me, let me take this back why... real quick. The, I, Sorry, Kyla, I think it's right for people who are around me to hear a lot of the things that are being said and have questions and being like, give me a bit of a side eye being like, wait, what the fuck? Which is why I said over and over on stream, like anybody who was actually like close to SAS, that actually, and people who have, like, wait, what the fuck? Which is why I said over and over on stream, like anybody who was actually like close to SAS or close to me and people who had questions were uh, all of them who came to me were very quickly like, oh shit. Okay. That actually, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay. never mind. Yeah. I'm right there. Yeah, the, the, all right, no, we're back. <laughs> we are fucking back. We are fucking back. Uh, are you friends with Theridite? She's a bitch? No, I also don't think she's a bitch, though. I just don't, I, I don't know. I just don't get along with her, right? So that he's talked to everybody. He didn't talk to Sulfur, or, or Sulfur, okay? Not a lot of people are, like, okay with him continuing along with this. This is kind of what this is. He hasn't really... Uh, done everything. Have you fat fingered out? No, I did think of do a thing. You used to speak to him. Interesting. Video of her being a bitch. I mean, if you want to, and the like, I'm gonna watch it. I'm be like, yeah, she's a bitch. Okay. Like, yeah, there are times when that's the case, right? Okay. I explain in detail how and why. Invite Nina. And we did not agree. Wait, why did I invite ne Nelma? Why would I invite Nelma? Don't worry about that. No, shoot it off, man. Go ahead. Let me know. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking down. Like, I'm going to be honest, dude. We don't even have two hours. I have nothing else. Okay, this was just like a quick in and out. All right. I'm talking to Tom and Sass. I am Team Tom. He is introspected. Sick. I'm glad that you're on his side. Bros before hoes, bro. Yeah, just DM me it. Bro, okay. I, I, I don't... Can I show this on YouTube? You know who it is. That's asking. What is... What are they looking at? Oh, God, dude. Jesus Christ. No? I don't know. I'm waiting for the person that sent me this video, okay? Haha, ha, I don't know. She's a skank? I don't know. But yeah, I don't really have anything else to go in on. Basically, so... Sulfur. Alright. Has been in contact with Tom. Okay. Okay. All right. He's all right. Where was this sulfur? Can you just call in for the love of fuck? I don't feel like to, like parsing out your YouTube messages. Okay. Like YouTube chat is very difficult to read through. I don't have a good re reader. Can you just call me? <laughs> like call in time, baby. <laughs> Okay, just get on the Discord. Oh, or that. That works too. Yeah, hello. Hello. Hey, do you want to just jump in the Discord? Oh, uh, yeah. sorry. That way, just like, we the get Discord? the little. Yeah, go in the Discord. That way, we have, like, your little name next to yourself. Oh, okay. That way, people know who's okay. talking, kind of. So I can uh, do that, you know? <laughs> sure. All right, talk to you. Easy. Okay, right. I'll see you there. Yep. <laughs> It just gives you the little thing up in here, okay? Like right up here. Oh yeah, super good. Hey, what's up? Yeah, no. Um, 
God, it's so late. Uh. It is. It is very late. It's an emergency. <laughs> emergency. <laughs> um, no, so it's just because um, he says there that everyone who reached out, like, agreed with him. Everything was like, co- like, it, 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 um, I think he might probably be talking about, like, Drazi? Um, Because my understanding is that every single person who has reached out to him does not agree with him. Um, And yeah, no, he, he, I mean, he was just confused about, um, like, uh, kind of what, I guess, I was upset about. (laughs) So, Mm -hmm. yeah, that's all. Um, No, and so, like, we, uh, the last time we spoke was... um, like February, I guess. Mm-hmm. But there. Yeah. How do you like the yeah. uh, title of the next thirty-five episodes? Oh, I thought they were beautiful. Mm-hmm. I think so too. <laughs> I think around like number nine, it got really, really good. <laughs> um, yeah, this is fine. I mean, oh, yeah. like, yeah, it's like it's uh, <laughs> the 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 it, it very much is the initial. I I apologize for nothing. I've done nothing wrong. Uh, energy yet again. Yeah. So, you know, that's great. That was, like, kind of what drew me in. And you know what kept me there was just blanket all statements. Because I know what those yeah. turn into. Yeah, it's, um, it, and it could have just been, like, a, it may have just been a misspeak on his. It probably was. Like it, it probably was a mistake. Let's let's be real. But the he way probably that every misspoke. single person mm-hmm. will look at that, um, mm-hmm. save probably five people in the entire universe, yeah. they'll be like, "Why did you lo-? like?" It's here's the thing. They're not going to take it as a misspeak. They're going to take it as an obvious. Well, lie, yeah, exactly. Uh, but as, he, but here's the thing: yeah. those people don't matter because he's introspective, and there's no way he can convince them. <laughs> right? He's a level. Of- no, no, no. Uh, but actually, that's actually the oh. thing. It doesn't matter what he says or how he yeah. says it. Like, you either get up, give him uh, some amount of charity when you talk to him, or he doesn't care anymore. He's Tom yeah. Unbound. Okay? <laughs> the next <laughs> list is just going to say... He's not locked in. He's, it's he's just going to... The next life. list is literally just going to be <laughs> Tom's grape list. And it's going to have a picture of a, a, a thing of grapes on it. And it's just going to have, like, a bunch of really, really interesting names on it, okay? That's what it's going to be. And he's just going to be like, can't you see the fucking grapes? I want to have eat grapes with this person. Right? Yeah, just uh, casual uh, grape-eating friendship. Mm-hmm. Just the mm-hmm. most yeah. Dionysian shit you've ever imagined. So, yeah. Literally. I am yeah. so tired. That's- <laughs> you must be. Um, I yeah, I woke up late, but I've just been like kind of like dozing in and out of sleep, and like the sinus infection is finally getting over. So it was gonna be a nice days off. So, anyways, um, yeah. but cool. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah. I just wanted you to verbalize it because it sounded like you had like your first hand that you wanted to go ahead and put in there, where you're like, all right, well, this seems like a yeah. misrepresentation, and I didn't want you just like freaking yeah. out and chat. We could just do it. So perfect. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, primary I'll sources <laughs> baby <laughs> yeah yeah okay well, right. i'll talk to you uh from chat perfect talk okay, to you later, be good. <laughs> bye oh emergency <laughs> i can't with you <laughs> i just i just make good thumbnails dude <laughs> like i just i the thing is i think a very long while ago i um gave up entirely um, entirely and totally with like not trying to be funny with the Tom Tom. And the reason why I stopped doing that is I was talking to this one person. I'm like, you know, man, I really need to find a picture of like a, uh, kind of feminized praying mantis. Right. And this dude sent me like a shitload of full on, like mantis porn, like, like hentai, Right. And I just got to say, I took the one thing that wasn't hentai. <laughs> and uh, ever since that moment, I was like, yeah, this is just the funniest shit I ever didn't see, didn't I? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pretty good afternoon. Love you. <clears throat> Jake, good afternoon. Love you. Anyways, appreciate you all. Um, 
I don't have anything else. Um, this is supposed to be my fucking day off, and I intend to guard my time. If you really want to check and hang out with me, uh, hit me up in the Discord. Hit me up in the Discord. Um, I swear to God, if that doesn't work, I, I don't even... It'll, it'll be in the, the comments. Like the fucking video. There's 70 of you here. Get at least 35, all right? Half is good. Half is happy. Half is life. Half is worthwhile. And then, make sure that you stay with us. And you go ahead and you just hang out with someone else. Secret emergency. <laughs> <laughs> Secret emergency Tom Tenstry. <laughs> We're so back. Testing monetization. This shit is funny as fuck. I am this is hilarious. Okay. Alright, hey man. We're gonna go hang out with Jay Stock. Um I appreciate I appreciate you all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Fuck, I hate. YouTube ending broadcast like and subscribe. I hate YouTube ending broadcast